as well as our effort to work with the World Economic Forum to establish one of their centers, the Center for Fourth Industrial Revolution of the We have introduced a significant tax incentives for the companies and investors they want, that want to come and invest in research and development here in Serbia and create intellectual property in Serbia. We have introduced special tax incentives for companies that are employing our people from abroad, our people from diaspora, and bringing, bringing them back to Serbia to create added value. We have introduced special tax incentives for foreigners to come and work in Serbia. And we have really tried very, very hard to, to establish an ecosystem which would enable a fast growth and changes to our economy. Last year, we have established a brand new institute for AI. We were only the 26th country in the world and first country in this part of Europe to adopt the strategy on AI. And today we have more than 30 experts working in AI Institute. Majority of those experts are Serbians who came back from abroad, from the United States, Canada, Switzerland, Italy, many other countries, Germany, who have spent more than 20 years living and working abroad. They came back because they saw that there are changes that are taking place in Serbia and they wanted to be part of that change. And the results are amazing. In the past 10 years, Serbia has changed almost completely. Six years ago, agriculture was our strongest economic sector. Today, IT is by far the strongest sector. It is our sector with the biggest exports, sector which employs, creates most of new jobs, and creates most of new opportunities in Serbia. Ten years ago, the export of our IT was 370 million euros. So for the entire 2012, it was 370 million euros. This year, in 2022, it will be over 2.5 billion euros. That is how change can affect your development if you're really dedicated to it. Last year, in 2021, every second new job created in Serbia was in the IT sector. We have strong institutes, such as, for example, Biosense Institute, and some of you will go to Novi Sad and visit Biosense Institute, which has been established as the European Center of Excellence in Digital Agriculture. The logical next step for us is biotechnology, which is why the next government and the new government will soon be formed, I'm hoping by the end of next week. The new government, the key focus of the new government will be biotechnology, biomedicine, bioinformatics, and biodiversity. We will invest more than 200 million euros into something that we call bio for campus and later in the day you will have a chance to see our bio for campus the campus that will encompass our faculties research institutes science and technology park ai institute and the place for private sector to grow develop and innovate here in serbia I said yesterday, I will, I will repeat it today. Our motto was somewhat easy and simple. For those of you who saw this American film, The Field, Field of Dreams, if you build it, they will come. That is what we were driven by when we started building science and technology parks in Serbia. And today all of them are full and we are already building new buildings to expand our science and technology parks. That is why we introduced changes in our education. Now, biotech 
is the logical next step. Some even call it the fifth industrial revolution. I can't say that in front of Borge Brande, the president of the World Economic Forum, because Klaus Schwab of the World Economic Forum actually came up with this fourth industrial revolution, so we can't claim to say that this is exactly the fifth industrial revolution, but the changes that it will bring to medicine, human kind, to population, the technology, the climate change, diversity, and all of that will have similar impact. And we want to be part of that. We know we can do it. We know and believe in the capacities of our people here in Serbia, our universities, and our research institutes. And we wanted you to be part of that from the very beginning. Hence, today's conference. I would, at the end, like to thank you again for being here. And I hope that some of you will, after this conference, be interested in relocating to Serbia, or perhaps thinking about opening research and development center in Serbia, as so many companies are doing nowadays. But certainly, I would like to ask you to think about becoming our, the part of our Bio4 campus, because I truly believe this is going to be the future of biotechnology for this part of Europe, and we want to do it together. Thank you very much, and I hope to see you next year in the second international biotech conference organized by the World Economic Forum and the government of Serbia when we would celebrate our new successes together.